Japan releases fully functional female iRobot that can do everything. Can robots completely replace human roles? Perhaps that is one of the most important questions of our time. We are already starting to see a tangible change in the way we work, live, and interact with the technology around us. A wave of robotics has taken place globally. We see robots appearing everywhere increasingly intelligent and more similar to humans. The leading country in this field is Japan, where they release female eye robots that you probably have to touch directly to believe they are real robots. After hundreds of years of effort, the dream of creating a robot identical to humans is gradually becoming a reality. In the past 10 years, scientists around the world have launched many intelligent robots that can do things that just a few years ago, people thought were only found in fantasy movies. During the process of researching and developing this field in Japan, some researchers have developed female biological robots. As soon as this product was launched on the market, it was loved by many men, especially those who like to stay at home. The reason this type of robot has achieved incredibly high sales since its launch is because it is different from many previous types of robots. This type of robot is no longer a cold machine, even though it is both very intelligent on the outside and on the inside. After experiencing this type of robot, many men no longer even need to find a girlfriend. The new robot launched in Japan offers personalized customization services, especially in terms of materials used. It is made of very unique silica gel. This material is actually not much different from real human skin. Furthermore, a robot also has a stable internal temperature system during operation. Regardless of body temperature or structure, it is not much different from real people. In addition to producing a complete human simulation, this robot has a very important point, which is the ability to customize. Because each person's aesthetic concept is different, customers can customize tall, short, fat, or thin according to their preferences. This satisfies the emotional needs of many otaku and name manga or game enthusiasts very well. According to news site Soha, biological robots inspired by women in Japan aim to reduce the imbalance between men and women and meet the physical and psychological needs of male users. Therefore, in daily life, many people prefer this type of robot. When dating with a real girlfriend, conflicts can occur, but not with female robots. They will always follow their owner's orders. Therefore, since the appearance of biological robots, it is no surprise that they have always been strongly sought after. In fact, another very important point of this robot is the appearance function. Perhaps many people do not believe that robots can give appearance. This type of robot has not yet achieved the ability to actually give appearance, but its internal structure is identical to that of a real person, and it can simulate the appearance process. Some researchers point out that with continuous advancement of future technology, if the robot is equipped with test tube appearance equipment, giving appearance through the robot is completely possible. For example, Grace the medical robot has a very likable appearance. Grace is designed to interact with the elderly and those isolated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Hanson Robotics models Grace with a white and blue pattern nurse's uniform, a face with Asian features, long brown hair, and a thermal camera on her chest to measure her temperature and reflexes. Reaction of the other person. Similar to Sister Sophia, Grace's face is also made from silicon material that simulates human skin, behind which is a mechanical system simulating more than 48 main facial muscles. Unlike Sophia's old and human-like appearance, Grace will have a look similar to cartoon characters. According to Hanson Robotics, Grace will use AI to diagnose patients. This nurse can speak English, Mandarin, and Cantonese. Grace has the same understanding as a healthcare professional and great interoperability. This is aimed at easing the burden on frontline hospital staff during the pandemic, said David Hansen. Founder of Henson Robotics said, Grace's human-like appearance will create more attachment and trust in the interaction between humans. The need for humanoid robots has become urgent amid the pandemic and Grace's presence has positively impacted many people. Robots like Grace have been put into mass production. This nurse costs similar to a luxury car to build. However, production costs decrease when mass-produced. Grace is together with other robots like Nadine, a female robot who is not as widely promoted as Grace, but is quietly winning the hearts of users. Nadine has the appearance of a woman with brown hair, soft skin, and a face that can express emotions when conversing. Nadine is 1.7 meters tall, the same height as Nadia Thorman who developed and produced Nadine. 
Nadine's brain is built similarly to Apple's Siri. The technology inside helps Nadine express emotions through her face and gestures while speaking. Nadine can recognize the faces of acquaintances and store conversations she has participated in. That is why Nadine is researched to be used as a companion for autistic people or the elderly with dementia. Particularly in Singapore, Nadine is currently used as a secretary. People say that it is difficult for them to tell from afar whether this is a human or a human-like robot, because Nadine's appearance is very similar to a real person. It can also communicate with humans and express expressions. Emotions come through the face, so it's hard to recognize. Furthermore, the artificial intelligence used for Nadine is something that can help Nadine. In addition to analyzing and storing data about the people it meets, also helps Nadine develop her own intelligence. One's own understanding and language ability after interactions with many different people. It doesn't look human like Nadine, but in Germany, a robot called Garmin is also doing very well in medical tasks. Not only replacing regular patient care staff, but Garmin can also replace even doctors. Garmin is white, stands on a wheeled platform and is equipped with a black screen on which are attached two blue circles that act as eyes. For retired German doctor Gwenta Steinbosch, 78 years old, the Garmin robot is like a dream because it not only performs diagnoses for patients, but can also care for and treat them. If the gamey robot is truly applied in life, members of nursing homes in Germany will see Garmin walking along the hallways and asking about their health. However, for a group of researchers around the world, one of the big challenges is not technology or finance, but the ability of users to accept robots. As I said, some robots like Grace or Nadine resonate with users, but it seems that most global residents feel concerned when a machine is identical to a human, has its own thoughts, its own language, and acts the way it wants. Remember when female robot Sophia debuted in 2016? She really made the whole world surprised and wary. Sophia jokes, frowns, smiles, winks, and responds easily to complex questions. However, the girl is not a flesh and blood human being, but a robot known as a genius machine. Since it was created in 2015 and launched in the US a year later, Sophia has continuously appeared on the covers of magazines and newspapers, becoming the center of attention at important technology events, even spoke at a United Nations program. First, everyone was impressed with the incredibly human-like face of this mechanical girl. The robot's facial skin is made from special silicone plastic to simulate the white and smooth porcelain skin of female star hipper. While the bridge of the nose is designed to be slim, the cheekbones are high and the smile is mixed emotions and the eyes seem to change color under different lights. Of course, the robot's appearance does not reach the level the design team wanted, but that is enough to make Sophia look like a real human. However, her appearance is not the most remarkable thing. It is Sophia's inner machine that truly surprises the whole world. She was the smartest robot at that time. Equipped with artificial intelligence technology, facial and voice recognition technology, and visual data processing capabilities, she was said to have thoughts and feelings. Privately, even on October 25, 2017, Sophia was granted citizenship by Saudi Arabia as a human. This is a big milestone when, for the first time in history, robots become citizens of a country. Sophia really brought a different perspective to the world about the intelligence of robots. But in fact, she's not the only robot possessing these abilities. The question of whether robots can replace or even lead humans is discussed around the world. It was really a very hot topic at the time, especially after Sophia and these robot friends met at the AI for Good Global Summit event organized by the United Nations International Telecommunication Union. I know you will be shocked, but some participating robots said they feel humans should be cautious about the potential of recent AI models. With the current rate of development, integrating AI into robots will become easy. With their advantages, robots believe that one day they can participate in leading the world. We don't have biases or emotions which sometimes influence decision-making. We can also process large amounts of data quickly to make the best decisions, Sophia said. I can provide objective data while humans use intelligence, emotions, and creativity to make decisions. Together, we can achieve great things, this robot added. Amika, a humanoid robot similar to Sophia made by the company of the same name, says whether or not machines will replace it depends on how AI is deployed. We should be cautious, but we should also be excited about the potential of technology to improve people's lives, Amika said. When asked whether humans can really trust machines, robot Amika said, 
trust is something that is earned, not given. The important thing is to build trust through transparency. However, the Robot Council is divided when it comes to regulations to control their capabilities in the future. Some say this will limit the robot's potential, but others argue. Many people are arguing about regulations controlling AI. I agree. We should be cautious about the development of future AI. Urgent discussions are needed now, Artist Robot AI Day said. Desdemona said she does not believe in limitations, only believes in opportunities. Can you believe it? That's what the robots are saying to each other in a big conference. If you had the right to decide, would you dare to trust these intelligent machines to continue to develop and do what they want? The answer is probably no. Governments are really concerned about the development of these robots. Six months ago this week, many prominent AI researchers, engineers and entrepreneurs signed an open letter calling for a moratorium on the development of powerful AI systems. Even engineers say artificial intelligence is developing rapidly and unpredictably, could eliminate millions of jobs, flooding us with misinformation. Elon Musk, one of the most prominent signers, Musk is actually afraid that future draconian government regulations will kill the products he is developing. Musk's thinking is correct when at the same time, the White House also began to worry about the dangers of artificial intelligence. U.S. President Joe Biden met with the chief executives of leading artificial intelligence companies, including Microsoft and Alphabet's Google. Here, Mr. Biden required companies to ensure their products are safe before being deployed, amid growing concerns that this technology could threaten privacy, distort work decisions, and support fraud. According to the White House, President Biden, who experienced GPT chat, told officials that they must minimize the current and potential risks that AI poses to individuals, society, and national security. The White House also said the meeting included a frank and constructive discussion about the need for companies to be more transparent with policymakers about their AI system. In addition, the parties also discussed the importance of assessing the safety of artificial intelligence products, as well as the need to protect them from malicious attacks. When AI technologies combine with robots that can act like real people, the consequences are difficult to measure. The robot that is said to have all the above capabilities is being produced by American startup figure. With the combination of giants like Tesla, Waymo, and Google, their goal is to create the largest human company that has ever existed. The founder said the project has a high risk of bankruptcy, but if it succeeds, it will completely change humanity in a very short time. Everything will be more accurate when robots are involved. The medical field or art shows us this clearly. Even human sexual needs are met with robots. Her name is Harmony. She is the world's first commercial sex bot, and this may be an irresistible fact. Naturally, the manufacturer wants it to make waves globally. Up to this point, Harmony has been declared the dream girlfriend of many men. According to Matt McMullen, owner of Abyss Creations headquartered in California, USA, and one of the leaders in the sex robot manufacturing industry, the Harmony robot is a new model designed to have the ability to talk, express emotions, and have sex with the owner. This Harmony robot girl seems very attractive, but compared to the robot girls in Japan, it seems that she is still not as perfect. The Japanese are the people who love robots the most in the world and they're also the leading country in applying products in today's industry. Since the 1980s, Japan has made great achievements in robotics. Both the production, export, and use of robots all occupy a leading position in the world. According to statistics from the Robot Federation, Anna Free of the total amount of robotic machinery and equipment in the world comes from Japan. For many years, the Japanese have produced robots that imitate their human form. These robots they produce are often used in the consumer electronics and automobile industries. As a powerful country in industrial robot production and research, they have created more advanced robots by relying on technology in the field of industrial robots. Humans have entered the age of AI. In this era, many different smart products have appeared in life, whether it is smart TVs, smart speakers, or more complex smart robots. Currently, many internet companies are paying great attention to AI. For example, JD.com has started using smart robots to distribute goods. And Jack Mai also opens supermarkets and hotels using service robots. In addition to the story of robots giving appearance in Japan, the Japanese also own a line of extremely advanced automation robots called Alter. 
Its appearance consists of a very human-like face, like Professor Ishiguro's geminoid design, but with further enhancements involving an integrated cybernetic system that allows it to move by yourself. Specifically, the technology applied here is supported by 42 Matic engines, and most importantly, the central energy machine. It is known that the above central energy machine platform uses a processing and connection network like human neurons, allowing the robot to control its own movements through distance and temperature sensors and humidity too. The entire system setup above does not necessarily make it act more like a human, but above all, that idea gives us the feeling that this robot is alive. That is the crux of the problem. Essentially, this project is an attempt to bridge the gap between the two aspects of programming previously used to make robots move and create robots that can move on their own. With the help of the above artificial neural network, the flexibility in each decision made by the robot will be more diverse. Alters hand and head movements and general gestures will be controlled and processed within the system. Sensors that collect data from all angles of the environment will complete and calculate more detailed side parameters. They are like the senses of a robot, although the underlying platform is not as complex and comprehensive as the human body. For example, if the space sensor detects that there are many people around, the robot body will have adjustable vibrations depending on the posture and position. In addition, Alter can also sing, although not very pleasantly. This melody is essentially sine waves emitted when the robot's fingers move. Alter's appearance shows that Japan is still at the forefront of the robot revolution, but a technology is mainly being developed in the United States. This may be the difference between smart robots and super smart robots in the future. If the government ignores advances in the robot revolution, a future where robots will completely replace humans is very likely.